Well, firstly, congratulations on, on making the playoffs. You kind of went the long way around yesterday, but it, were you always confident that the team out there could get the job done? Yeah, I've been confident all the way through the last couple of months um, that we give a good good account of ourselves in every game. And obviously, we struggled in in lots of ways yesterday, but we we stayed together and always felt like we had a couple of tries in us. Obviously, the, the position that you came into the club in playoffs probably looked a little bit kind of almost out of the conversation, not in terms of not being achievable, but just because of things that needed rectifying first. How quickly did you realise that you, you had a group that would be able to put a run like this together and book themselves into the postseason? Yeah, it's a good good question, that one. Um, yeah, I knew mathematically it wasn't too far off in the distance. It was going to be a long, long journey, but not unachievable. Um, probably, probably a month or six weeks in, I thought that we were starting to, to form some some traits that might give us a chance of, of grinding out some games and being able to find a way uh, to get to get enough results. Um, had you said that we needed eight out of the last nine or, or whatever that's turned out to be to, to make it, that would have been um, you know, a stretch for everyone. Um, but we've we've done we've done enough, just enough. You'll know all too well the, the history of Leeds Rhinos winning grand finals from fifth place and yep. quite deep into the playoffs. You must be really excited about the opportunity to make your own history over the next few weeks. Yeah, we've got to get get the first week done to get a second week for sure, and that's the that's the challenge. But you know, for the club to to be thinking about uh, having a crack from fifth again brings back fond memories around the the, the club and and good positive energy. So. We've, uh, we've got a huge task uh, ahead on Friday to, to travel on a short turnaround, and, um, but it's you know it's a travel we've done a, a few times recently, so looking looking forward to it. Uh, you'd have known coming in the kind of the demands almost for Lisa Rhinos to be involved in playoffs, be involved in games like this, regardless of what happens at the weekend and in the weeks to follow. Do you feel like you're kind of building the foundations for the next few years for that for the club to be returned to that level of football? Yeah, it's a really, really hard question, that one, because coming in mid-season, you're trying to build on what's already established. You're trying to make a bit of an influence in your own way as well and with a view towards the, the pre-season ahead a, a little as well. So it's a, it's a tough juggling act. Um, you know, things are always evolving in team sports and roster management and salary caps influence change. So whether we're building the foundations right now or not, um, we'll... You can only really reflect on that in the future. What we've got to do is live in the present and, and make the most of this opportunity and, and worry about the future, um, you know, come off-season. Uh, on, on a personal level, I'd imagine probably February you wouldn't have been expecting to be involved in Super League knockout games and semi-finals and that kind of thing come September. How much are you enjoying this experience? Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's it's um, something that I've worked worked really hard for and, and chased that dream um, of, of being in charge of a club like Leeds and getting this opportunity. Uh, you know, in February, in March, I was, you know, until, until late April, I was actually... Uh, you know, trying to trying to get the Norse Devils to go back to back at at home, and they're actually still chasing chasing that dream today after a win against Burley too. So, um, yeah, I, I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, a couple of months ago, I would have had no no thought of being here right now. So I'm, I feel very privileged. Up against the uh, Catalans team, who, who are starting to bring some players back in from injury and look like they're starting to strengthen again. It, you know you're going to have a tough test, don't you? And to add to that, the travel as well. Yeah, they're, they're a strong team across the board, very experienced. Um, their spine are dangerous and played a lot of footy together now. Um, very big team as well. Uh, good finishing, good yardage outside back carries. They, they, you know, they're well-rounded team, well-coached. Very experienced in these big games and they're playing on their home patch uh, and their conditions. So, you know, it's going to be a tough battle, but uh, we, we feel like we can go give a good account of ourselves. And it, it, it's a six, a playoff six, and we don't always say this, but it's absolutely a playoff six where any one of those will feel like they've definitely got it in them to go all the way and, and win this. It, it must be so good being involved in a competition that that's, comp that's that competitive and that much of a level playing field. That's that's what that's what you want in team sports is that that um, contest and uncertainty for the for the fans, uh, for the for the coaches and players. You'd you'd love to be winning every week, but that's not reality. Um, so. Having a competition where, yeah, you you got to play well every week is is what it has been for a few months for us, um, and now now it's really fully officially sudden death. Um, it's it's exciting. Yeah, I think for the neutral supporter, um, 
you know, any, anything could happen in this next period, so it's a it's good time to tune in. Uh, just lastly, you've got Dream Team representation in Mick. How much of a credit is he and how much of a pleasure to work with has he been since you came in? Oh, Mick has been outstanding. Uh, I knew a fair bit about him uh, from watching on TV over the last few years, but uh, as a character, he's, he's really grown into a, a strong leader this year to play every game uh, as a front rower uh, with a couple of uh, double header weekends um, to play big minutes and, and to put himself at the front all the time is, is a credit to him and, and well deserved. Um, from the period I've been in the country, uh, he's certainly been among the, the top couple of front rowers, so it's great to see him uh, acknowledged today. Well, best of luck on the weekend. Thank you very much.